Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again. Well, with Oktoberfest in full swing over in the Fatherland, I thought it appropriate that I review an Oktoberfest beer. Now this one's actually from uh, Chico, California in the United States of America. It's Sierra Nevada's Oktoberfest beer. 2017, which is uh, this year brewed in collaboration with Brauhaus Miltenberger. Now, uh, I've uh, never tried one of their uh, Oktoberfest uh, brews before, which um, are seasonals for them. And uh, it's a one-time only uh, release because uh, they um, collaborate with a different uh, German brewery each year, I believe. Anyway, um, it comes in at 6.1% uh, uh, alcohol by volume, which is almost the perfect uh, ABV for this uh, style of beer. So um, without further ado, I'll grab my Munchen bottle opener and uh, crack off the cap and uh, pour it out into this mug. Okay. Get some nice head there. All right, so uh, let's have a look at the appearance. Well, it's uh, definitely a um, dark uh, golden color. Yeah, almost caramel, in fact. It's uh, very effervescent, and uh, there's a lovely uh, two fingers of uh, bright white head there. So uh, as far as uh, looks go, it uh, looks spot on for this style. Now uh, onto the aroma. All right. I nearly snorted some there. Yeah, picking up uh, a hint of uh, caramel and uh, brady malts. Yeah, although they're quite faint. All right, so uh, we've talked about the appearance and uh, we've talked about the aroma and that could only mean it's time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So uh, Prost, let's dive in. Mm. Okay, well up front, getting a nice uh, hit of those bready malts. Uh, there's definitely a caramel flavor there as well, which uh, is something that I'd expect in uh, this style of um, uh, brew, um, you know, being an Oktoberfest beer or a Marzen. Uh, yeah, there's uh, some noticeable um, bitterness um, there in the finish as well. Uh, you know, it's not overly bitter, but uh, does balance out nicely. I uh, dare say they're using uh, Tetnyanga um, hops. And uh, yeah, it really tastes spot on for this uh, style. In fact, uh, I'm quite amazed that they didn't just go overboard with, um, with hops on this, uh, which, you know, these kinds of breweries uh, often do, sadly. But wow, I mean, they've really like nailed it as far as the style goes. Now I must have another gulp, folks. Yeah. Well, it goes down smooth. Uh, the body is uh, oh, what I describe as medium. Uh, is it drinkable? Well, hell yeah. Is it something you could session? Well, at 6.1% ABV, you could have a few of these, but it's uh, going to catch up with you quicker than uh, a lighter uh, style of brew, isn't it? Um, but all in all, I mean, um, this is really impressive. I'm Wow, I'm, I'm astounded actually, and uh, yeah, I'll um, definitely uh, check out, uh, you know, the 2018 um, <laughs> seasonal they do. Yeah, um, wow, you've done a superb job, Sierra Nevada. Uh, as far as the price point goes, well, um, I won't go into that, but that's, you know, always in Australia, the one thing that uh, lets these brews down. Anyhow, um, yeah, I'm quite impressed and... I think it's time to have one last gulp and give this a score out of 10. Hmm, delicious. Okay, so um, what would I give um, Sierra Nevada's um, 2017 Oktoberfest beer? Well, um, I'd probably give it a 9.5 out of 10. They've really nailed the style and um, 
I'm really impressed and uh, yeah I'm sort of sad that I haven't uh, had a chance to uh, try any of the previous year's um, Oktoberfest beers from them <laughs> but uh, there's always next year so uh, I look forward to that anyway folks um, yeah that's it from me I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this and uh, until next time fare thee well all